Hey guys, before we jump into the video, I just wanted to update you really quickly. There are hundreds of people impersonating me. They have made a business model out of it. These guys are making new accounts at will. They will copy my posts. They will copy my avatar. They are going to copy and paste everything about my life to convince you that they are me. You guys know the only thing I sell is the fundamentalsecrets.com, my digital course. So if you apply there, then yes, somebody will reach out. Other than that, guys, it's a scammer. Don't let them take your money. Hey YouTube, how you guys doing? It's Alex, the guy that snaps on spoiled people for a living. If you don't know who I am, I'm a multi-millionaire at the age of 26. I came from nothing. I've never had money in my life. My parents were broke and I made something of myself and I feel like I can comment on this. And people like this, they irk me, which makes these videos so entertaining because I am going to snap on this person. Okay, let me just stop. Let me stop being so mean. This is a reaction video. This one's titled, I have a $300,000 closet, but I don't have a job. Sell it! Sell it on e- Okay, let me stop. Let's just jump into the video. Asad is a stay-at-home daughter. It's every girl that doesn't have a job. I came up with stay-at-home daughter because it's who I am. I went viral. This is a day in the life of a stay-at-home daughter in New York City. Okay, but you- can someone agree with me that having 570-something thousand followers is a job? That's, that's definitely a job. Right? Are you making money off of that? I don't know. Let's let's keep watching. So today we are going to meet up with my friend Frazier. I need to talk to him about the fact that he's not committed to plans. You know what? Next time I'm not gonna go out of my way for you. So don't don't! I have a driver. Call too. We both have drivers. Snap! Oh, snap! Oh, yes, yes. Snap on her. He's so these are my favorite shoes. I think the brand's Rene Kovia. I don't know how to pronounce it. I just know how to buy it. This is probably my favorite Chanel bag. This is. You know what's bothering me right now is she's bragging about it. I guess it's because she went viral on it. She's bragging. Who brags about this? Is weird. This is this is so weird. Ten thousand dollars. I love Chanel. My closet is worth around three hundred thousand dollars. That's just shoes and bags alone, though. I don't know how much my clothes are worth, to be completely honest. The luxury stuff I like to do, caviar facials. I love to travel. What other luxurious things I like to do? It's hard to say because you guys see that as luxury, but I see it as every day. <laughs> That's unprotected. Why is she bragging about this? Stop. There's people that are dying. Oh my. Go help somebody. Stop thinking about yourself. Look at that face. You guys see that face right now? This is the face of greed. <laughs> I'm just in it. I'm gonna wear this dress to the salon. I always like to look very nice and presentable when I'm going out, even if it's just to go to the salon. Asad is a fan daughter. It's every girl that doesn't have a job and she lives off of her parents. And her role is to be a stay-at-home daughter. When I started doing stay-at-home daughter series, I realized that a lot of people were lying and fabricating about their lives on social media. Day in life of a stay-at-home daughter, Bahamas edition. So I woke up to 323 missed calls from my ex-boyfriend, which gave me anxiety. So I decided to go to the Bahamas. I thought that it was a good idea to use my platform to tell young girls, hey, people don't just wake up with this pointy nose. I got a nose job. I got a new watch because my old watch. Bro, this is like insecurity. Can my editor just put like insecurity? It didn't have enough diamonds in it and it just wasn't shiny. Love, love, love when people say the meanest things to make more shares, more likes, more engagement. Did you know that TikTok? Yeah, I mean, that's kind of true. If you don't got no haters, you ain't popping. But at the same time, sometimes the haters have something honest to say. It's not always hate. Sometimes it's true. You have to be able to read between the lines. And I'm sure this video, maybe it's not true. Maybe everybody should live like this. Let's just go with that. It actually pays me $22 per mean comment you guys put on my post. So I take all of that money and I buy another Chanel bag that I don't need. You take out enough cash from the ATM? Parents don't really know how much you're actually spending. I am going to get glammed up like any other day, and we are going to go meet up with my friend Frazier. I don't like to brush my own hair. I always have someone do it for me. I always get my hair makeup done as well. I don't like doing my own makeup. I think you've met Frazier before, yeah. but he's not committing to me, and I was like, I've literally been like, Frazier, book the villain. He's not booked the villain whatsoever. I'm currently upset at Frazier because Frazier has not committed to 
booking a villa with me for Mykonos. We need to basically talk to him about that. Okay, so how do you think he'll take it? If he doesn't commit to these plans, I'm just gonna go without him, and if he gets upset at me, that's all on him, to be completely honest. So I am going on a stay-at-home daughter European tour this summer. I would love to show my fans how I live when I go abroad. Where's Rama? It has to happen, it has to go well. Nothing can go wrong. I think I'm just pretty much gonna give him an ultimatum. He's either gonna come or he's not coming along because I just can't wait anymore. Roma, come on, let's go. Okay, you see how he talks to Let's get this show on the road. Seriously, we have Kima and then we have the influencer van. Okay, the right driver's here. waiting I outside. I told you I was going to be late. I don't understand why okay, you Okay, well, I just him. came from all the way from downtown to Upper West Side to pick your ass you, up. Literally, no one asked you to do that. I've been sitting in the car for about 30 minutes waiting for you to get your makeup and hair done. Okay, but listen. You've been here all afternoon. Okay. You're late by about two and a half hours at this point. So. Okay, I don't give a f I'm trying to look hot. What the hell is wrong with you? Hey, you know what? Next time I'm not going to go out of my way for you. So don't, don't. I have a driver. Call a Uber. We both have drivers. Oh, no. Rich people problem. <laughs> it's actually kind of funny. I, I'm going to be honest with you. This is entertaining to me. It, it's just like. Wow. God, he's so annoying. Hi, how are you? We have a table for two. We're, we're a little late to our reservation. Late with no thanks to you. It's not like we were going to lose the reservation. They're not even busy. You know, I just don't like it when people waste my time. I just think it's <laughs> rude. Yes, yes. Not only does she waste money, but she wasted people's time. If you don't know, uh, if you've never made money in your life, then you, don't, you wouldn't understand this concept or, you know, people's time are very valuable. Um, I, I value my time more than my money, so yes snap on her let's go snap on her dude i mean if you're gonna be kind of bitchy the whole time we don't have to have lunch i'm by not the way. gonna be bitchy the whole time i am a little annoyed that you haven't booked me knows yet i literally could have invited anybody and i asked you to come i'm not anybody baby <laughs> and i'm not staying anywhere besides cavo tago or santa marina End of story. Everywhere else, as far as I'm concerned, is loser central. But you didn't ex <laughs> Loser central? Okay, maybe he's a little bougie too. Hold on, hold on one second. Express that to me from the get-go. I told you, are you okay with having a villa as long as we have a driver and we, we have security? We have to have security. I told you we would have security. You know what? Cheers to making us, baby. So we're going. First world problems. We're going. Okay, so you're okay with whatever. Trip what, is on. So you're okay with whatever villa that I book. Whatever villa it you want to book. It will be bougie. At this point, if it shuts you up, let's go. Okay. Meekness. Cheers, meekness. I do not want to be in a relationship like this. Is toxic, man. This is not a. It's some weird stuff. Like let's get bougie. Like what? Just baby. So more or less, I think we've resolved it. I'm not sure. Uh, it's resolved. Okay, it's it's resolved. Um, I think I think we're in a better place. Um, so I am excited for Mykonos. Mykonos is gonna be hot girl summer. It's Time a very hot girl summer. I'm ready for us. I love this for us. I do too. Mykonos, baby. Mykonos. Wild. That was wild. That was wild. Got under my skin. Subscribe to the channel. We're snapping on all the bougie people. Catch you guys in the next video. Alex here, quick update, quick announcement. Guys, I have a new community number. So I got a second phone. You could directly text me. I'm answering all questions. My new phone number is 954-758-5473. Again, that's 954-758-5473. I'm answering all comments. Go ahead and text me now. Let's have a conversation.